I'll be presenting today's Radiopedia.org case in radiology, unilateral tuberculous lung destruction. Case courtesy is demonstrated here, and the case link is in the description below. Presentation, we have a 60-year-old male presenting with chronic shortness of breath. The patient reports a history of TB previously treated. On chest x-ray, we see significant leftward shift of the mediastinum with subsequent opacification of the left hemithorax. There's compensatory hyperinflation of the right lung, and we see diffuse reticular opacities, as well as a right apical opacity, likely due to fibrosis. On CT of the chest with contrast, we again can appreciate significant volume loss in the left hemithorax with leftward deviation of the heart and mediastinum. There's extensive bronchiectasis of the left lung. Here we see a cavitary lesion in the posterior segment of the right upper lobe. Additionally, we see a nodule in the right lung base. Considering the radiographic and CT findings of marked volume loss in mediastinal shift in a patient who has a positive history of tuberculosis infection, these findings likely represent a sequela of unilateral tuberculous lung destruction, demonstrating cicatrization collapse of the left lung. UTLD is an irreversible complication of TB that most commonly demonstrates left lung predominance. This can occur in TB patients as a result of reduced lung expansion due to sustaining chronic fibrosis and scarring and is thought to occur in the late phases of the disease. An abnormal healing process is thought to be a primary contributor to the significant and permanent changes in lung structure after TB infection. Such changes have been linked to fibrogenic cytokines such as TNF-alpha, TGF-beta, and interleukin-1-beta, in addition to matrix metalloproteinase inducing lung injury. Radiographic findings on both chest x-ray and CT typically include loss of volume within the lung and ipsilateral mediastinal shift. PA chest x-ray can show opacification of the entire hemithorax and or coarse linear opacities representative of fibrotic changes. CT chest can be used to delineate whether residual cystic bronchiectasis is present or not and to rule out additional complications. Other findings on CT include a decreased diameter of the pulmonary vasculature, herniation of the contralateral lung, and or increased extra pleural fat.